Time management was really easy when I first started my career. Working a 12 hour day, going out with friends, sleeping for two or three hours, coming back and starting all over again, seemed fine. And then I obviously got older, settled into my career and realized that juggling family, friends, pleasing everybody, whether it was at work, my personal capacity, just wasn't so simple any longer. I never factored in that equation ever. It was never about me or what I needed. And it was only when I got completely burnt out, when I sort of turned early, when I sort of turned 30, that I actually realized I've got a problem. It then forced me to introspect. And one of my biggest learnings from that was that I needed to be selfish and selfish about my time. So I'm extremely particular about what it is that I choose to allocate my time to in my personal life, as well as in my professional life. As I continued to progress and eventually started to climb the corporate ladder, I realized that it was not as straightforward and it definitely wasn't easy. For me, my biggest challenge is I find it very difficult to say no. So drawing boundaries and creating those boundaries are so important if you want to have some sort of sanity in a day. Because if you're saying yes to everybody and trying to do everything to please everyone, it's never going to work. So my biggest time management trick is that I make lists for everything. I've got a list for a list for a list. I love writing things down. So I write it all down, list it out, and at the end of every day, nothing is more rewarding for me than physically striking it off with my pink pen. And it helps. It helps me focus, it helps me prioritize, it helps me figure out exactly what I need to do, when, how, why, and I'm able to get through a lot in a day. I've also learned uh, that it's important to introspect and at the end of every day, whatever time that might be, I actually take like at least 30 minutes to reflect back on what's gone on today and what is happening tomorrow. And I then try and prioritize everything that needs to be happening before I make that list. So prioritizing, making lists, doing things in a way that works for you, do it. I've got post-it stuff all over my computer because that helps me. And post-its in bright pink and bright green and whatever it is. And each one of them has a different meaning or a different level of priority, but it helps. And I'm then able to focus better in terms of tasks at hand, who needs my attention more, and I'm able to get a lot more done in a day. Time management, I think, is something that's going to evolve for each of us as we continue to grow. I think it gets a lot easier to be more selfish as you get older and as you know exactly what you want and what you're trying to achieve. So my advice to anybody would be make the list, strike it off with a pink pen when you're done with it, and just get through things one step at a time. And more than anything else, make sure you make time for yourself. Time for yourself, whether you're exercising, baking, cooking, sitting and watching something mindless on TV, but take the time for yourself because once you are fully recharged, you're able to embrace the day and achieve everything that you need to do because you're in a good place.